You have no conception of the power they need. You can't do this by yourself. There are many paths to walk through the night. And really quick, how much of the book description do you use for your production design? Or is it sometimes it's too fantastical that you have to kind of bring it, bring, bring it, you know, make it more practical? It's more like it would be always like a, for each set or each, let's say, each city or village as you describe, we're looking for the any description or any detail from the books. And we had a, a great researcher, Sarah, who did like a pre perfect precise, precise research through the all uh, books checking every single one and finding like uh, all the spots, like all the, you know, just a little mention of uh, of the place which we were designing. So that was kind of our start. And after that, we put together all the references, all the shapes, the color shapes, the pattern shapes, and we discussed this with the showrunner and later on with the director, and we kind of create the, the look of the city. But um, for us, if uh, we had a description, from the books and we follow the books as much as possible from my point of view. And after that, we had a script and we had to kind of um, deliver what is the, uh, what is in the scripts and what we are need, what we need for the scripts. And of course, in some sense, we have to de also deliver it in the budget which we have for the show. So we have to be kind of sensible in the way like, okay, we can we do that? Can we do that? How big is this set? How big is that set? And what is important and what could be less important for that? So how we can um, simplify something which it's impressive, but we are not able to build it, for example. Right. 